Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Alisha Mao here. In this video today, we are going to review and of course fly the Ishin Turbine QX70, 70mm mini quadcopter. Now this is available as BNF, I believe, for Free Sky, Fly Sky and Spectrum Radio's BNF versions. So all you need to do is bind, configure with the clean flight and start flying. Now this quadcopter is equipped with uh, F3, uh, that is SP Racing F3 EVO brushed flight controller. It's flashed with clean flight and it's running an all-in-one 25 milliwatt 5.8 GHz Ishin FPV system with a 600 TV line HD CMOS camera, that's what it says. Also it has an LED strip feature which you can program accordingly with the clean flight version. You can always flash it with beta flight but you won't have much difference in flight performance. Anyway, so this is the Ishian Turbine QX 70mm. If you want to see what it looks like, ta -da, this is what it looks like. It's a kind of copy of uh, Tiny Whoop. So, uh, Ishin Turbine is kind of a whoop for you to whoop around in your house with this tiny FPV quadcopter. Looking at the quadcopter you can see these are ducted fans of course so feel free to you know smash it around or hit the walls or all the obstacles inside your house it won't crash that easily. Well that is a concept for guarded blades or ducted blades like this so that your quadcopter will not crash upon very first hit and the propellers will not fly off on the very first hit while you're flying indoor FPV with your these tiny micro quadcopters. It has 8520 coreless brushed motors plus 40 mm four blade propellers. Now in order to fly it you will need a 3.7 volt battery which comes inside the box and of course a battery charger, a USB battery charger which comes inside the box. Now before we go ahead let's take a look at what comes inside the box. This is what we get right outside the box from Ishin Turbine QX70. We have a Ishin Turbine QX70 quadcopter with that PV system and everything installed. And we have a propeller tool to remove and install the propellers, mostly to remove the propellers. We have a battery, this is 3.7 volt, 650, uh, 600mAh battery, but I have a 650mAh battery as well. We have a USB charger, then we have a USB cable for you to connect your quadcopter to the computer and program it or tweak it with clean flight and we have a spare set of propellers. Now that we have seen what comes inside the box, now before we go ahead I will say I, I have cheated actually, I have been flying it around, testing it during this time before actually making a review. So I can actually, before showing you the flights, I can actually tell you what's good and what's bad about this quadcopter. Now good, of course it has plenty of power, it has plenty of configuration with clean flight, you can flash it with beta flight, maybe get a bit better performance. Don't try to flip and fly acro mode because it does not have that much power to fly acro, but it is very very good to fly in angle or horizon modes and it's tons of fun to fly around your house and doing proximity FPV, uh, you know, clearing out those tiny obstacles and challenges using this one. Now, bad thing, yes, bad things about this. I hope Ishin is listening and they would improve it. The first thing that I want to say is that the propellers often touch the ducts, okay? So it will take you a couple of full throttles while holding the quadcopter to actually uh, file the propellers by themselves while they are touching uh, on the ducts. So give it a couple of full throttles so the propellers actually get adjusted inside and if that doesn't work then you have to file the inner sides of these ducts. That's what I did. So I went ahead and I filed the inner side of these ducts in order to make sure the propellers will not touch. Now the second option is the propellers were really really terribly imbalanced. So what happens when you're flying there's a lot of rattling noise. It's a rattler in the air and because of that you don't get a smooth flight performance and because of that you do not get enough flight time and you often get crashes because once it starts vibrating it will lose power and start coming down and hit the ground or you know just that hopping thing starts. So first thing 
I don't know how to balance the propeller. The first, all I can do is full throttle and let the propellers rub itself and adjust themselves uh, by rubbing them um, size and of course the rubbing the inside of the duct. Or as I said, uh, file the insides of the duct in order to make the propellers uh, fit and not touch the uh, ducts and fly properly. Now, if you want to check the propellers, you can simply blow on the propellers just like this. Not touching not touching, a little bit of vibration, a little bit of vibration, not touching, but this propeller had a lot of lot of vibrations, so unfortunately I went ahead and I changed, I swapped with a spare propeller, yes you get four spare propellers, you have seen, I swapped with a spare propeller and, see, it's jammed because it's touching the duct on the side. The other thing I want to mention is that these ducts, you see these motors actually move because inside here these uh, little support rods that you see, these bend very easily and of course it will, you know, disturb the angle of your motor, like switch the angle of your motor and then your propeller will be hitting somewhere again. So basically this is a 3D printed frame and it is totally I'm sorry Ishin, it's totally a no-no. This has a lot of lot of issues. I would love to see a proper, uh, not just El Chipo, a proper 3D printed frame which does not touch, which does not hold the blades in. Blades will not touch and I would love to see proper balanced propellers and this will be a successful product because trust me, once you settle these problems, this is so much fun to fly. I was having real fun out of it. So I hope Ishin is gonna fix all those issues. Apart from that, this is a true performer. It's lots of fun to fly and you are gonna order more and more batteries. I would say you order more batteries because you're not gonna get enough out of this. You would love to fly it all the day. So let's go ahead and check out the flights I was having with this Ishin QX70, Ishin Turbine QX70. Check it out.
Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.